Okay, so I was tasked with the uh, task of having to help with the invigilation timetable. Now, this is the first time I've ever done something like this, and if any of you have ever done something like this, you will realize this is probably the hardest thing you've ever done. Oh my word, trying to balance all this stuff, unbelievable. So, let's have a look. Uh, what I did was, um, it's not finished yet, okay? I'm still busy, but I thought I would just show you what I've done so far. And I'm open to any input, any input at all, as to how I can make this better. I do have ideas for the next version, so here we go. I started with the with the timetable that was given to me, the exam timetable. We have two sessions, a morning session and an afternoon session. And I got, uh, it's just for grade 8s, 9s and 11s. Our 10s actually do something else for our midterm exams. So what I've got here is I've got the date, the subject, which session it is, uh, when it starts, when does it finish, how long the paper is, and how many students are writing that particular paper at that time. So uh, the date is pretty easy. The um, I had a drop-down list that I used earlier. I've taken that away now. The session is automatically calculated based on the time. So if it's um, from 7 or half past 7 up to 11, it's going to be in the morning session. Otherwise, it's going to be the afternoon. And of course, then when it finishes, the time is also automatically calculated for me. So that's what I've done for the grade 8s and the grade 9s and the grade 11s. I've used conditional formatting. The green is for session one in the morning and then the orange is for session two papers. So I can sort of see at a glance um, w what sessions I have available. Then the uh, in actual invigilation is here and let me show you what I've done here. So I'll explain the buttons in a minute. I've got the date and session one and then what I've done is I just created the slots they're all half hour slots so in the morning we have eight slots of half an hour each the grade and uh, are all uh, the grades are here the exams are here and uh, so I try to make this as streamlined as possible have a look here so all I did was using simple VLOOKUPs I would go here and go to Tuesday and it automatically change so it doesn't matter whatever day I chose in my timetable based on the grade 8, grade 9, grade 11 I would have it automatically update. Okay, so that's actually very very handy. So this updates automatically. It does all of this stuff here. All of this. So I choose the date it reads the grade, tells me what exam it is, how long it is how many students are there, adds up all the students, tells me how many and then how many invigilators I need per slot. In other words um, it's 25 kids per invigilator and then the rest is just the manual process but anyway that's another story altogether to make it easier to work with I just created some buttons here I've got a home button to take me back home I've got the next day and that just jumps and scrolls down so Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday it's much easier than scrolling because when you have all of this data and you're scrolling all the time it starts getting very confusing so I just thought it's you know what it's easier if I just go backwards and forwards backwards and forwards and if you you go like home and you go previous day a little message pops up so you are at the first day okay now because I've got all of this and because I've got all of this now that it's done all right this is all done and look there he goes and scrolls after he says don't scroll the statistics oh this is my favorite so what I've done here I've got all the names of the teachers as they would appear in these blocks over here and again I've worked out the total number of hours per teacher over the entire period of invigilation which is three weeks in this case week two three and four week one was done sometime before me so that's why it's not here I've also calculated the number of hours each teacher will have in the mornings and in the afternoons the total accumulative hours and then of course also uh, each week so we can kind of see like when they're busiest okay so we were kind of aiming at uh, 12 hours so yeah anyway uh, 12 hours per teacher sort alphabetically done automatically sort lowest to highest with um, conditional formatting just showing me I added the green in the middle so you kind of have the the general range here so hot gets there 
Yellow means they've hit 12 on the dot. Blue is very cold. They, they really, they're the lucky ones, okay? They don't get punished so much. Uh, if you've got something similar or ideas that I could use, I would really appreciate it. The, I didn't show you the other worksheets. This is kind of the invigilator stats is where I put everything together. So here's where all the data actually gets collated. All right, everything happens inside this. This is the, the most important worksheet of the lot. And um, you'll see everything gets calculated here. This is simply just reading from this. Okay, this is obviously just, this is too confusing for teachers. So that's much easier. The other thing I didn't mention is I also protect the worksheet when I'm finished. So the only editable areas are here in each day so that uh, another teacher could add or remove teachers. And the nice thing is it's, it's all real time. As you're adding or removing teachers or invigilators, the stats automatically update in real time. It is so, so nice to use. And to, if you've got two screens or even just a really big screen, if you just go to view, new window, you can actually open up the same document in two different windows and have one window with your teachers and one window, like one window with the stats and one window with your invigilation where you can put your teachers in place. So there you go. I'd love to hear your feedback. Thank you.